Hello, my name is Bogdan Dolhan and today I would like you to present my new version of POF per month package which I have published on AppExchange. So let's start. I am a Salesforce practice lead. I have 10 Salesforce certifications, 11 years of development experience and 8 years of Salesforce development experience. And also I do some pet projects which I publish on AppExchange, like both per month. So let's discuss the business case for use of my package. There is no standard way in Salesforce to assign permissions in bulk. So do you have a task to assign the same permission level for multiple objects or multiple fields or multiple tabs to many profiles or many permission sets at the same time? Are you bored to click over profiles permission sets to get the same security configuration over and over again? Did you ever wish it could be done in a bulkified way in one single place? Or let's discuss another use case. So there is no quick way to create objects or text fields with common prefix and attributes. So did you ever need to create some objects like object 1, object 2, object 3, object 4, or did you ever uh, need to create some fields like field 1, field 2, field 3, etc., et which share the same field attributes? Did you wish you could do this quickly and in one single place? So there is a solution for this. Install both per month package from AppExchange now and you will get these features which implement those uh, business cases. So let's discuss it more thoroughly. So uh, bulk objects and fields permissions manager uh, package provides the following tools. The first is management of object permissions for many objects, profiles and permission sets. Management of field permissions for many fields, profiles and permission sets. And management of tab permissions for many tabs, profiles and permission sets which is a brand new feature in second generation version of this package. And a new feature is also bulk object creation with the same prefix and bulk text field creation with common prefix and attributes. All of the last three features are brand new features in the second generation version of my package. To upgrade from the previous first generation package, you need to uninstall the previous package because it is uh, first generation and currently there is no way to migrate from first generation to second generation other than uninstall the first generation package version and install the second generation version. So let's uh, look and discuss how those features look on screenshots. So here you can see bulk objects per permission manage manager tab and you can see a list of a dual list box of uh, object selections and you can see collapsed uh, select profile or permission sets section and a grid for configuration object level permissions. You can see that there are a lot of checkboxes, one checkbox per each permission in object which includes view all, modify all, create, read, update and delete and you can see the list of profiles and permission sets on the left screen as rows and you can see list of objects as columns and you can see there are some special checkboxes which uh, perform bulk selection so for example if you click on the uh, header uh, checkbox then uh, all of this checkboxes which belong to the same uh, column will be checked or if you unchecked it then all of the checkboxes will be unchecked and the same applies for the uh, row level checkboxes so if you click one of these checkboxes then all of the ap appropriate checkboxes will be checked or unchecked and uh, bulk uh, field permissions management manager tab looks the same uh, but it has additional dual list box for field selection. And you can select up to 
800 uh, fields from several objects. And then you can uh, select and see uh, this. You can see existing field level permissions and you can update them in the same way. Here you can have only read and update permissions for fields. Uh, this new feature for bulk tab permissions management uh, shows in different way. Instead of checkboxes grid, you can see those uh, selects grid, which includes the option for height, default on and default off settings for tabs. And also you can include a lot of different tabs. You can also exclude standard tabs if you want. And also you can select profiles and permission sets and you can see the current configuration. You can update it using the uh, header selects as well. Also the new feature is bulk objects creation management, uh, which you can use to create some objects with the same uh, with a common uh, prefix. And you can specify the prefix and you can specify the number of objects. You can uh, create up to 100 objects, I think. And uh, this is how it looks like here. And another tab is creation of fields in bulk. You can select uh, fields, uh, select objects, and then you can select the common uh, field type, which is only which is limited to only text fields. And you can select the field lengths, description, help text, but all of these attributes will be the same for all the fields you are creating. So, and next you can select the field name prefix and you can select how many fields you would like to create. So this is how it looks like. So those fields were created, field one, field zero, field two, field three, field four on uh, custom object zero, and the same fields on custom object one. Total 10 fields were created. Also, I have included some experimental features which are hidden under feature parameters. If you would like to activate any of those features, you can contact me using the GitHub repository link or other means. And uh, there are two experimental features which are included and which require activations. The first one is use API names instead of labels in the user interface. And another one is uh, try dependency management for uh, permissions and dependencies. So if you enable, uh, if you ask me to enable this feature about using API names instead of labels in UI, you will see the object developer names like custom objects double underscore C instead of uh, custom space object. And you can see custom field double underscore C displayed instead of custom field. And uh, you can see the namespace prefix double underscore uh, tab developer name displayed instead of the tab label. And the same uh, for the standard tabs. You can see standard hyphen accounts displayed instead of the standard label, which is accounts. So this is how it looks like in UI. So you can see that uh, those are developer names here on both dual list box and in this configuration grid. And this is how it looks like for fields. You can see those uh, fields like custom object one, double underscore C, field 199, and double underscore C. And you can see the same uh, pattern here on the configuration box. And the same applies for tabs. So you can see the uh, tabs developer name instead of tab label. Another experimental feature which is hidden under feature parameter is to, uh, the, to manage dependencies, manage permission dependencies. So for example, uh, if you ask me to enable this feature, the package will automatically add read access to opportunity when you give access read access to what, or it will automatically add view access view all access to opportunity when giving view all access to what because access to what depends on access to opportunity. And you can see this in action here. For example, for this profile, I have selected one uh, read permission for what. 
but uh, I can see in the message that two records were successfully updated. This is because it has updated the access to opportunity as well. This is a subtle, subtle feature and I don't think everyone would like to use it. So it's hidden under feature parameter. By default, if you just select quote and this uh, object doesn't have this uh, profile doesn't have access to opportunity, you will see some error saying that uh, access to quarter requires access to opportunity. And let's move to some interactive demo. So uh, here you can see I have this package pre-installed of on my environment. I can select some uh, some objects like account or contact and I can uh, exclude standard profiles and exclude uh, managed packages you can in include some permission set and some uh, profile you can see that some accesses were already granted and for example I would like to grant the full access to all of this profile so I click view all permission Modify all permission, which uh, enables these permissions, and I click create, and then I click save, and I can see that four records were actually updated. So since we have two objects and two, uh, one profile, one permission sets, we have four records in total. Next, we can go to uh, bulk field permissions management. And here we can also probably can select some objects like custom object one. And we can select uh, both of these objects. We can, for example, select all of these fields. And we would like to select some custom uh, profile and permission set. And, and we would like to uh, grant update permission to uh, skip ID verification permission set and for example read access to standard user plus skip ID here and we can save it you can see that four records were actually updated because we have one profile one permission set and uh, 20 fields also if you want we could uh, update for example grant uh, update permission for every field for this standard user plus skip identification profile and we can update it so the next uh, is a bulk tab permission management for example i can select this custom tabs which belong to my package and select some custom profiles and custom permission set and see what is uh, currently configured so you can see that all of my tabs are hidden for uh, skip ID verification permission set and they are on by default for the standard user plus skip ID profile. For example, I would like to set to off for uh, every tab and every of profile and permission set selected. So I can click, make two clicks here and one click on save button to update the settings. And I see that 10 records has been successfully updated because I have five uh, tabs and two, so uh, two common like profiles and uh, permission sets. So it's one profile, one permission set, but in common there are two items. Next, this is the bulk creation. For example, I can uh, select some, some new object, for example. And for example, I would like to create, let's say, for example, 15. And I click create button. It might take some time to create and process. And I see uh, the message that successfully created 15 uh, objects. I can go to setup and verify that uh, this object has been created. So I go to object. management and I can see that there were 15 new objects here added like some new objects 0, 1, 10, 11 and so on and so forth 
and next stop is bulk field creation management so here for example i have those some objects and for example let me select all of them and only text is available now for example i would like to set 255 i don't want to set anything for description or help text and for example i set some field and for example i would like four fields to create and also i click this create button so like we can wait some time and we can see the message that successfully created 60 fields now if i go to any of these objects I can go and verify fields has been created on fields and a relationship. So we can see there are like four fields on each object and they were created at once. So you don't need to go and create field uh, manually. So, and now uh, the experimental feature. So you can notice that here, for example, if I try to select custom uh, you can see though that uh, labels are displayed but here on the difference in box I have API names displayed instead of uh, labels this is because the feature parameter is activated here and the same applies for fields so if I select some object you can see that there are uh, field api names and here for example custom object zero can also see the field api names for this and the same for uh, top permissions so you can see the stops uh, API names displayed and just one another feature which is uh, dependency management so by default uh, we can get error if you uh, select like quote objects while the quote is opportunity access is not granted <clears throat> so in this uh, experimental feature we can uh, select, for example, read access to quote and see that two records were successfully updated. This is because it has updated opportunity access as well. And now if you select like modify all, it also updates two records because it needs to grant view, uh, modify all or view all actually on the uh, opportunity record. So if you just add a create permission, it just updates this, this record because it uh, doesn't require any dependencies. So I think we can switch back to the presentation. Uh, and in this recording, I cannot answer your questions, but you can post some questions under uh, my video posting and thanks for attentions and may the force be with you i hope you have enjoyed this uh, presentation and you might uh, decide if you would like to install this package to your org thanks bye